and line and go. You know, we were safe and fast. Quickly just vanished right there. New sections, but it you know it's Nevada desert. It's uh, kind of all the same when you raced it enough. It's all the get in line and go. A lot of uh, dry lake beds and some mountainous areas. Just kind of stay in their dust, keep the truck clean at least halfway through, if not more, and then try to go for it towards the end. That qualifying course was just right up our alley. It was it was rough. It was technical, and that's the stuff we love. And so we 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 were super super happy when we did our braid lap around there. qualified fourth. You know, we were safe and fast and we're real happy with where we're starting. Our plan today is just try to stay, you know, just outside of their dust and let these kids go out there and fight all day and, you know, maybe they'll have some flats or stuff, but we don't, you know, we don't want to be on the edge all day. We want to find a good, comfortable pace for us. I'm going to hop out at uh, pit eight. Uh, Luke Knup's going to get in there, ride with Travis, and then I'm going to jump back in at, at pit 13 and I'm going to bring the truck in. Day, it was a long day. They started just checking off miles, uh, quickly got by McMullen, then they got a flat coming into four, but they were corrected leader and they were third on road physical. Started to notice a little power was down. Unfortunately, they got a torque converter blew up, started on fire. All that hard work we put into it um, quickly just vanished right there. So um, our next plan, I think, is to debut the G6 at uh, the Laughlin Desert Classic for Best in the Desert, and uh, we might take old girl out to do the California 300 new one in Barstow because she likes the rough so. Mm -hmm. 